there and welcome. Today I am talking about a product which most people who keep koi will be fairly familiar with. However, a lot of people with aquariums probably won't have heard of and that's chloramine tea. It is a really effective chemical to get rid of the number of parasites and bacteria within your aquarium and is super effective against a lot of the common infections on aquarium fish. These include Costia, Trichodina, Chilladonella, if I can even say it, and of course white spot, and a whole host of other bacterial and parasitical infections. What is so good about this is it takes hardly any to affect the rogue parasites or bacteria, and it can also be used as a pretreatment for your aquarium before adding new fish. Of course, we know that stress um, will make fish more susceptible to parasites. So the best thing is to dose this in your aquarium uh, a day before you're adding your new fish and it will drastically reduce the amount of parasites and bacteria in your aquarium waiting to feast on your lovely new fish. Now chloramine tea is really good because it doesn't actually affect your nitrifying bacteria very much and it is broken down really quickly within your aquarium so you can dose it um, a few days in a row to get the desired effect. One thing that you need to do is turn off any of your UVs and it's best to dose it at night time because it is broken down quickly in daylight or under aquarium lighting. Here's the back so you can see the dosage rate. As you can see, you only need 1.5 grams per 700 litre. That's a rough thing that I've worked out. But what that means is a pack of 50 grams is going to last you a lifetime if you've only got a small aquarium. And it is really good stuff. One thing to note though, do not use this in a salt water aquarium, marine aquarium. This product also becomes a lot more toxic in low pH and soft water. I've put a link to a website which gives you a suggested dosing rate in the description of this video. But please be aware, if your pH is anywhere near or below 7 and you've got soft aquarium water, really, really reduce the amount that you dose this up to about 75% of the recommended dose rate. Another thing to be aware of is to not use this as a bath because it will damage the fish quite badly if you bathe them in a strong solution of this. Other than those few suggestions I've given you and warnings, chloramine tea is incredibly effective fighting against bacteria and parasites in your aquarium water and also in your pond. So really give it a shot. It's a lot better on the fish and a lot less stressful on the fish than using the more common anti-parasite um, chemicals such as copper because it doesn't actually stress the fish out at all from what I have seen and from what I have been advised. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and happy fish keeping!